Mm. Hello, welcome back to Pro Tips and Conversation. Uh, today I am starting over on the Mrs. Thickbottom build. Uh, episodes 1 through 3 were showing her. I have reworked that build, so let me explain the difference. The last version was a mid-roll build that had more strength and dex than this one had to allow it to have more variety of weapons, which I plan on using in New Game Plus. Um, but I decided it was a clumsy and inefficient build, so I reworked it into what is now going to be a fast roll build that uses the rapier and um, bandit's knife, using bleed to cut through bosses in New Game Plus. Uh, maybe a couple other things, but mostly for bosses I expect. Rapier is just going to be for everything else. I'm going to make it chaos. Going for maximum upgrade, the end level will be 50. Um, which means it'll probably be matching up with people in Anne Orlando and the zones beyond that. You know, the uh, rest of the Lord Souls. That's my plan. I still plan to go to New Game Plus and pick up dual copies of Black Flame and Great Combustion. So I can spam the shit out of any invader. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, right. A couple other refinements I made here. I decided to go with Ponytail B, which is usually a no-no. But I was looking at the bangs and I decided, you know what? Mrs. Thickbottom is supposed to be a woman, not a girl. Pigtails are more of a, a younger girl's type thing. So for that more refined, mature look, go for the Ponytail B. Um, for color, I added one point of red to the hair, and I found that was all I needed to take away that sort of green hue that I didn't like before. Um, and that is the only difference. Oh, I also removed her tan, because I'm kind of digging the pale these days. So, uh, Pyromancer, here we go. So what I'm going to be trying to do here is... Uh, maybe showing you some routes you haven't taken before to quickly build a character. This character's a good candidate for that, because... She's not using any boss weapons or anything like that, so um, we'll see how quickly I can blitz along and kind of get the fundamentals. I'm going to be going for the rapier first and then farming a bandit knife after that, and probably getting both to plus five before I proceed. That's funny, I don't usually remember a guy being in that puzzle. Right, um, and then we'll be breezing along and heading to New Game Plus, hopefully in short order. Although... There is going to be some big periods of farming because I'm doing this build entirely from scratch. You literally just saw me create it. Uh, so I'm going to need a lot of Titanite because I'm doing two versions of Rapier and Bandit Knife, Lightning and Chaos, just so I can use it against any type of resistance that I come across. Uh, in the DLC, though, it's going to be real tough because, as you probably know, Resistance levels in the DLC are huge for non-physical damage. Just huge. Any kind of split damage is severely nerfed. So, um... But hopefully I'll have great combustion by then, which will help me get through Artorius. I don't know if I'll even bother with Manus, because I don't need anything from him. I tend to only do what I need. So it's going to be streamlined, you know, building this, this build as efficiently as I can. And then, uh, as usual, trying to fill the gaps, the boring stuff, with the conversation. So if you... I, I see I have one viewer. If you have uh, any ideas for conversation, or you maybe you have questions that I can answer about the game, or you just want to ask my opinion on something, be my guest, that should make for some entertainment there. Pyromancer still being one of the most efficient builds you could start with. Just because of the good stat allocation. She's only going to have 12 strength, 12 dex this time around, where the previous version had 16 in both. So she'll be severely limited in weapon selection. But again, I've selected what I think are some really good weapons. The rapier... Oops. Should have saved my endurance there. The rapier is uh, rather ridiculous when it comes to backstab damage. As you may have heard me say before, I cannot parry with the dam. Wow, I, I'm just sucking today against this guy. There we go. Alright. 
So the rapier is going to give me good backstab, so I can counterfish any piece of shit invader I meet who doesn't know how to have a straight fight. Um, and then the banded knife, again, is mostly for a new game plus with the bleed effect. Although I wish you could bleed. I don't think any of the DLC bosses bleed. Because uh, I fought Artorius with an Uchi and I was hitting him a lot and maybe I wasn't hitting him fast enough, who knows. But Artorius is really kind of like, you gotta, you gotta take your time with that guy, because he's quick, and he hits hard. So step one, dex 12. Okay, now, I'm gonna go through Valley of Drakes. I usually do that. Because, uh, honestly, you don't... Oh, no, 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 no. First, I'm getting the Morning Star. That's right. This weapon is a bleed weapon you can grab at the start of the game. I think pretty much any class can two-hand it at least, if not one hand. Highly recommend. So I kind of went through the same process the other day when I made the first version of Mrs. Thickbottom. Um, the difference in today's video is I'm going to actually take the time to explain more of what I'm doing because maybe you'll appreciate that. Maybe you're in a similar situation where, you know, you want to start from scratch and get something assembled quickly. I should probably do a video about, like, quick uh, PvP effective builds that you can make from scratch just to give you some ideas. Like, if you're just starting DSR and uh, you want to get something that you can play quickly, maybe farm with it a bit before you trade or something like that. I was talking about one in my Night of Knee video. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, all right, Claymore, Claymore. It was um, a 56 poise build with Havel's legs and gauntlet, grass crest shield on the back, Claymore. Um, it might have even had enough endurance left over to equip a short bow and a dagger. I can't remember exactly, but... Very solid build. Very airtight. Um, it uses a lightning claymore. And with 40 vigor and endurance, it came out to, uh, level 60. You know, with minimum stats for the clay. So it was pretty good. Pretty good setup. So you just be fast rolling around in that, 56 poise. Good defense, good HP, good damage with the uh, elemental clay. Um, basically, any vid gouge, like, really, that's what you're doing at a low SL below, like, 50 and below, is just vid gouging, because that's how you're, you're going to maximize your health so you can survive a dark bead or a black flame, and then also deal decent damage on your own. It's just such a shame, the lack of variety... Um, in the low-level builds on this fucking game. You know, at least, um, I think they got that right. With Dark Souls 3, you see a lot more variety. There are still some clear winners, but, uh, you're able to make use of more things in that game. Whereas in this one, it's all, like, Vid Gouge, Dark Bead, Black Flame. But I already ranted about that in a different video, so we're not going to dwell there. But that's what you're looking for. Either stuff that doesn't scale, or elemental weapon. So, Dark Bee Pyromancy. Whoa! Not today, buddy. Oh god! <laughs> Why can't you pick up items faster, goddammit? Is it really so hard to just scoop it off the ground? Shove it in your bag of holding, come on. There is a animated uh, web series parody of Souls um, on YouTube I like called Dark Sauce. And uh, the character gets the Lord Vessel and he's like, Oh, this is heavy, how am I supposed to carry this around? And they're like, just put it in your inventory. And he's like, oh yeah, and it just disappears, weightless. Used to crack me up uh, in Goldeneye on, you know, back on Nintendo 64 when James Bond could, like, pull a rocket launcher out of his ass. Like, where the hell were you hiding that thing? How many guns are you carrying? 
All right, now we have decent shield. But I can even use it. I need to strip down. There we go. Highly recommend you stick with fast roll until you find a decent set of armor. Like, if, if you're medium rolling and you have no poise, you should not be medium rolling. You're doing it wrong. If you have no poise, you need to fast roll. It's without question. Otherwise, you're just going to get wrecked. Um, if you're trying to use a large weapon without poise, forget about it. You're going to get hit by, like, a hollow with a fucking broken sword, and you're just going to get staggered to death, so... If you do want to rock a large weapon, my recommendation, go to the forest straight away, grab the Elite Knight armor, uh, and that way you'll have 40 poise. So that'll let you tank, like, small swords and shit. Fine. These drakes are actually the best, uh... Well, like the only dragon scale farm, you know, like you can get scales here and there from killing things that don't respawn, but this is the only spot you can farm, as I recall. Oh, don't breathe on me. But they are notoriously annoying. The ones on the bridge and behind it, they do, they just kind of like spam their flying attack, and you can't hit them when they're in the air, you know, because they're really quick and they're flying, so. It's aggravating if they just dive back and forth and you're trying to hit them like, come on, man. Yeah, she did. She buried dead. I wonder um, if there are any necrophiliacs who, like, really enjoy this game. You know, they're like, oh, man, all the characters are so hot. <laughs> Can't wait to play an undead babe. Then again, World of Warcraft, some of those forsaken babes are... Not bad, but that's entirely different. This is uh, far less cartoony style than WoW. So, some quick conversation about Blizzard. Uh, holy shit, do I hate their cartoony art style that started with WoW. Like, think about Diablo 1, Diablo 2. That was a good, gritty, grim style. I like that quite a lot, right? And then... Disgustingly, WoW came out, and then Diablo 3 looks like WoW now. It's all cartoony and bullshit, and what do you know? The gameplay sucks, too. Great. Terrible, 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 terrible. Why did they do that? I think I, I heard that um, the team of Diablo 1 and 2 left Blizzard, and so they were left with, like, the WoW crew. And that's, oh, I didn't get any regular Titanite. And that's why, um, that happened. So, unfortunate. What are you gonna do? What am I running with? Bellowing Dragon, good. Okay. Ooh. Should probably be chopping down this tree with an axe, but oh well. <laughs> he looks like a hippie. Uh, do I want to go... Yeah, let's do that real quick. I'll go get the um, wolf ring, and I think that'll give me quite a boost for a while. So yeah, you uh, skip Undeadburg. You come this way. You get some kick-ass loot. You know, you can... Uh, Dip over to the base of the tower and kill Havel as well if you want. Mm -hmm. It's all very quick and easy, accessible if you know what you're doing. Might get hit in the back here. Hope not. Not today. Did I even equip my pyro flame? I don't think I did. I should totally do that. Bye. Let's get flaming. Flame on! It'd be cool if you could light plant things on fire and they just burn. Oh, well.
Okay, so if you want to get that Black Knight halberd earlier, you might recall I passed by the Black Knight. Um, but, you know, it's it's totally understandable if you, like, start a new character, sprint over there, kill him, rinse, repeat, just keep killing him over and over until he drops the damn thing, like, make a new character each time, you know? It's totally worth it if you really want that, uh, halberd, because it is quite good. I wonder what kind of damage the Partisan will do right now. I should go check that out. Might be an upgrade. Hand axe so quick. What are you going to do about it? Don't have enough stamina. Let's do that. What if I can snatch this without waking up Mr. Lizard? Nice. Okay. Oh, God, the damage is pitiful. Oh, I'm sad. Oh, it takes so long to kill. Duff. With. This. X. Yay. Thanks, just passing through. See you guys later. Alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna be heavily chased as I proceed through here, not killing anything. As it takes far too long to kill shit right now with this stupid hand axe. I'm just kidding, it's not stupid. I actually love you, hand axe. One of my favorite weapons. Trusty sidearm. Nope. I reject your tongue. No tongue. That Stone Knight Greatsword is pretty damn good if you, uh, manage to find it. And get yourself um, 27 strength to two-hand it. People panic when they, if they don't know what the debuff is, and you hit them with it, they're like, "Oh God!" They just start rolling ineffectively. What's happening? Make it stop. Yeah, I don't think I need to have this ring. It's not. A plan part of the build anyway. I might pick that up later. But for now, I do not need. Ooh! He's on my butt. Learn gesture. What can I buy from you? Do you have any good weapon? Nope. Must be the undead merchant. I know the bandit knife I have to farm. Uh, I was supposed to buy Titanite off that guy, I forgot. Shoot, I'm gonna end up needing more souls than I thought. This displeases me. Good thing I picked those up though. Give me a little boost. Right, I want to upgrade the APR so I could farm for the damn. Six, that's not enough. I think I need nine. To farm for the bandit knife, you know, just so I have a dependable weapon. I guess those stupid hollow thieves, which I think are going to be a real pain at this level. So, let's upgrade. Item find. Again, if you didn't know, item find up to... Soft humanity up to ten increases your item find. Very useful. Definitely going to want to bleed these guys. Let's get started. Nice, one backstab will do it. Good to know. Ugh. 
just gonna change windows here over to my Twitch so I could see if I get any comments. Okay. I actually had um, four viewers earlier uh, when I was doing the Night of Me, so that was cool. I think that was the most I've ever had. Come on, come on. Lead! Lead for me! Whoop! He missed. Oh yeah! How the mighty have fallen. Time to charge this one in you. Gotta get two more. A free gold guy that's gonna make it easier. Let's do that real quick. Just real quick. Oh god, don't stab me. Those rapiers hurt so bad. Alright, come on. You in greats. Nice, I can one hit him. Wasn't sure if I would. What if I could do it with a hand axe? Probably not. No! That also hurts tremendously. That spear attack. You really don't want to let that guy hit you at all. Oh crap! I want to talk a little bit more about the purpose and the message of this channel. Um, there's a lot of, I feel like, there's a formula, right? There's a kind of a cookie cutter method to succeeding at uh, being a streamer. Because if you look around, they all kind of do similar stuff. I'm really hoping that I can be successful without doing that because I find it to be disgenuine. The, the things they say, the way they talk, like it's... It's scripted, and having a script helps, yeah. So far, I haven't used one at all. Um, you may have noticed that. <laughs> but, um... I, I just prefer... Something more real. So I'm hoping maybe you, that you guys will enjoy that as well. The genuine article. Unfiltered, unedited, unscripted. Just talking and uh, showing everything that happens in the game, all the success and the failure. So that's my idea, that's my goal. See how that works out. Whoop. Three hits to bleed? Nope. Four hits. Down, Bessie. Okay, this guy's always tougher. Because, you know, he might parry you. He might backstab you. Or he might just double, triple stab you in the face with his rapier. Oh, no! Oh, yeah, I have poise again. That's right. <laughs> Almighty poise. I think I can two-hand this halberd. That might be some good damage. How much does it weigh? Halle Bairdy. Nope, I'm not fast rolling anymore. How much damage am I looking at? 130? Good damage, good reach. Decent speed. Let's give it a shot. Two shot. Yep, I like that. Dang, look at the size of those pouches she's carrying. <laughs> Beefy. But it's probably because she has a thick bottom. Okay. Yep, yep. <laughs> God dang, her waist is enormous. 
Mrs. Peak Bottom. Yep, beef jerky. <coughs> yeah, I already picked that up, alright. So I'm wearing what's the Havels Warrior Antiquated Dust Crown. Yeah, I don't need anything that this guy, any of the armor set that I would gain from keeping him alive. Neat. And have a nice trip and a safe fall and all that. Safe trip, nice fall, that's what I'm <clears throat> Yeah, so kicking that dude. A lot of people I, I meet will try to kill him in the cell. I don't recommend that, because A, he can kill you, and B, he won't give you a sunlight medal until you meet him down here. So if you want a free medal, wait for him to leave and then uh, talk. Favorite protection. Checky, check, check. I'm gonna save my souls for now. Because I need 20k to buy the uh, Christopher Torius before I head south and then south. Down. And then, uh. Gotta buy weapons and Titanite and crap, so. Holy shoot. What am I at? Five? Yeah. Maximum farm! Now I can start saving the rest of these. So if you're going for fast roll, Wolf Ring is going to help you out. Otherwise you want Havel's Ring. Because... You might say, I'll, I'll just mid-roll with a Wolf Ring. But here's the thing, you will get more defense and probably about the same amount of poise if you would use Havel's Ring with heavier armor instead of a uh, Wolf Ring. Can't parry a jump attack. Come on, man, give me the Titanite. Piece of schmid. I need it before I leave. Don't you dare raise your shield to me, sir. Yes. Oh, I forgot these guys are out here. That counter damage. Almost one-shotted. kind of nice how running attacks in Souls 1 do more damage. I think in Souls 3 they actually do less damage than a regular R1. Or maybe that was Souls 2. One of the games does less damage on a running attack. But, I mean, it makes sense with the added momentum that you would do more damage, you know? <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna see if I can farm up that last shard I need without buying it. So... Here we go. Hopefully this works out and I can just carry on. So if you're not using a, you know, easily obtained regular Titanite weapon, because something, you know, your build uses something later in the game, like maybe Moonlight Greatsword, maybe a boss weapon, what can you do? There's a couple of weapons I upgrade with Twinkling Titanite. And you might recall that every Crystal Lizard drops like two Twinkles. So that makes it very easy to upgrade those weapons in the, in the middle of the, or, or the game, rather. So you could go for a Black Knight weapon. You could try the Astora Straight Sword that you get from, you know, where the Undead Dragon. But honestly, I tried that sword before and it's, it's just, it's just pitiful. Do not recommend. Because the split damage is, you know, it's just bad. Um... You could try getting a Jagged Ghost Knife, but I'm not sure how well, how reliable that is. It's also a rare drop, like 1% chance or some shit, so. 
What else can you get early? Oh, Gravelord Sword? Demon Titanite's kind of hard to come by, but if you kill the one the uh, Titanite Demon by, you know, the Blacksmith, that's at least um, one upgrade. And then, like, I think the next earliest you could get one is, like, the bottom of Sin's Fortress, and that's kind of asking a lot. But still, a plus one Gravelord Sword is pretty powerful. Even so, you know? Uh, what else is, like, a twinkish weapon you can get easily? I'm just thinking of Black Knight weapons or Gravelord Sword, really. And Black Knight weapons are not guaranteed, but if you go in there with 10 humanity, it's a pretty good chance to drop the weapon. Shields are harder to get, but weapons are, like, easier. I, um, was tooling around on a low-level character, level 20, and I had 10 humanity, and I managed to get all three Black Knight weapons. The sword, the Great Sword, and the Halberd, Glaive, whatever. All, uh, on the first go, so. It's a pretty good drop rate. You just gotta have the stats for it. If you're going low stats, Jagged Ghostblade is kind of your only option, as it has like no stat requirement at all. Seven strength, I think everyone can manage that. Even at level one. Oh god, that was close. Put your shield down, bro. I don't like your shield. Haha! -ha. You made a mistake. Wow, really? That one Titanite shard does not want to drop. How frustrating. Hopefully this guy will drop it. Come on, man, help me out. I just need it to get on with the show here. Gib, 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 gib. Nope. One more time. I, I'm feeling good about this one. Not really, but let's do it. I need more souls anyway. Stack them up, stack them up. Stepson's playing with his buddy in the next room. Not sure if you guys can hear him or not. He tends to get a bit boisterous. Oh yeah, that's a bit of conversation. Um, I feel like humor has devolved as well. Or maybe it's evolved because... And I, and I just haven't. But anyway. It's like random stuff is is like all the rage now like if you put up a video clip where halfway through the screen gets blurry and it makes a terrible screeching noise for some reason that's hilarious am i right <laughs> i don't understand these modern memes they're not funny you just you just like hurt your ears and stupid noxious shit i don't care for them but whatever What? Still alive? There we go. Walder Helm? No, I don't need that. But, um, I feel like the success of random humor... Bear with me now. I feel like it started with Spongebob. That show was vastly popular. And it was funny because just like the weirdest, most unexpected things would happen in that show. And I remember I had a good few good laughs at that too, growing up. Um... There's a few shows on, like, Nickelodeon Cartoon Network that never got a single laugh out of me. Spongebob, though, that show's funny. But, like, it's gotten so much worse since then. Like, it's kind of like they took what was working in Spongebob and then they put it on the extreme end so you, it, it's not enjoyable um, anymore because it's, like, too much. It's too random. It's too 
Too much nonsense. Uh, why did I even rest? I don't know why I did that. I was distracted by conversation. Anyway. So yeah, I don't I don't, I don't get that whole like oh let's let's make this picture or this uh, this video really grainy and like blurry and like hard to look at and then do the same thing with the audio make it really loud and crackly and like oh yeah, that's funny somehow. Nope. <laughs> I don't get it. Whatever. Oh good. I think I needed that. Come on. There we go. This is a good weapon, this helmet. Solid. Let's see if I can backstab this pig. You always you have to be on even ground to backstab this guy. So like a lot of the times if you're on the stairwell, it will not freaking work. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The pig! The pig! Oh god! Oh that fucking hurt a lot. Oh! Not today. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, wow, he totally followed me. At least I didn't get hit. Yeah, burn yourself. Yeah, cook that meat. Cook that bacon. Why no backstab? There we go. Aha! Do I get a helmet? No, I'm not worthy. Dang, those archers have good range. Okay. Another advantage of going this way. The dragon does not spawn in your world. He only spawns if you trigger him by seeing him that first time on the bridge. Just a little reminder there. Hmm. I could actually two-hand the Drake Sword if I really wanted to, but I don't. I don't find that to be a reliable weapon. Oh, I forgot to buy the weapon smith box. Now I'm going to have to pay more for it. God damn it. Sword. Didn't need it. Ooh, nice dodge there, buddy. Another short sword. God damn. Give me the warrior claw. So I can see some butt cheek. Hello, crazy man. I need this. I need this. I need that. Oh, he only sells repair box? Oh, do you know what this means? I'm gonna have to go all the way back to the fucking blacksmith. Displeasing. Displeasing. Okay. Let's do it then. Whatever. Hey, but at least I won't have to buy the Smith box. I can just upgrade the rapier with him. Save 2k for now. That'll put me closer to getting the um, Artorius crest. So I guess if I'm looking at minimum soul investment, this is not a bad idea. Not good. 
Not good. That was close. I should uh, go get that bonfire, actually. Why am I bothering going down here? God damn it. That guy could circle way faster than I thought. Puts a black knight to shame. I'll get those alluring spells up there. All right. Had a bit of noise there for a moment, but settled down now. Got my rapier. Now to go f to Lower Berg. I don't know why I'm not using the damn rapier yet. Forgot the weapon swap. Oh, that hurts. Stop it. Oh, you gonna drink? You gonna drink on me, buddy? You're gonna die for that one. Right. So. Rapier. That means we can equip shield. That means we can equip armor. Oh, I wonder if I can just sw throw this on. Of course not. Uh, how about this one? How about this and that? Hell yeah! Alright, good to go. Let's give it a try. Jewish farm. Oh, I should hit up Solaire as well. 
Ooh, mama. Those bolts are getting close. Undead burb. Hello. Blah, 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 blah. The sun. Blah, blah, blah. Grossly incandescent. Fates intertwine. Jolly cooperation. Thanks. One more. Okay, bye. Thank you. Come again. What is it? What is even the damage on this thing? 122. That's almost the same as the halberd. Cool. That's good damage. Although I did upgrade it, so that's actually bad damage. But it's fast. But it's shorter. But it's light. Okay, guess that puts it ahead. Oh my. Talk about mediocre. Okay, I can't even... I gotta hit him on flat ground. Why is this a good weapon again? It's just dogs are with the right fight. Doesn't matter what you're doing. Shoot. Now that I think about it, the great cats are hard to fight too. It's just cats and dogs. Terrible. Souls, why are you making people hate their pets? Thank you. Blah 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 blah. Thank you, come again. Whoop! You failed. I forgot to buy my second repair. I'm gonna have to go do that. At some point. Come on, fellas! It's quick! I do like that. Quick weapon. Okay, now for the hard part. I feel like these thieves are just going to be such a pain in the ass. Let's find out. And they're the only way to get a bandit knife. Wishful thinking that he would drop one already. Oh, he tried to parry me. Damn. Good shield, though, for parrying. So I've been told. <laughs> I've parried like maybe a dozen attacks in my entire career on Souls. It's just hard, man. I don't really like doing it either. It's not my play style. Oh no! I turned my back for a second. the wounded one. Dang it. No luck. Still two more. We'll see. It is hard to get though. I think that dog might have seen me. Oh yeah. Not today, buddy. It would be humorous to have the first boss I kill be the fucking, uh, Capra. Come on, buddy. Don't make me waste this Estus. Although I am going back to Firelink, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay. Dang. It's only a 2% drop rate, so I think I only increased it to 4% with the humanity. It's going to take a while.
What else can we talk about in the meantime? Let me think. Don't know much about Elden Ring yet. Except for apparently it's open world, Souls-like game, so that's cool. Maybe you'll have um, better co-op where like you just kind of you can go all through the world with another player instead of like getting split up by zone and getting sent home when they kill the boss. That'd be really nice. I do have an interesting tidbit I could share. Apparently... Alright, so my, my pops is real big on, like, science stuff. He likes space stuff. He's a big fan of Stephen Hawking. Um, I was very worried about him when Hawking passed because I thought he would be just so sad. Anyway. Apparently, space is expanding outward. Because uh, we were talking about telescopes being launched out into space to look at stuff. And he was saying that space is expanding so fast that a telescope would not be able to keep up with it. And that was shocking to me. Because that's pretty quick. Considering, like, a telescope travels at rocket speed. You know, once it gets launched, it just keeps going. Um, and the fact that it was expanding made me think, you know, I was like, you make it sound like there's something beyond space. And he said, there is. But they, they don't know what it is. So, there is space outside of space. Like, I, I really thought that's what space was, the empty. But space is not the empty. But there's an empty beyond space with nothing in it. <laughs> And it's like, wow, that's, uh, pretty wild. So, that just blew my mind. Like, the universe is actually getting bigger. Nope. Yeah. Because I thought, um, he was saying, like, like, the Big Bang is projecting everything further and further outward. But no, that's not it. The object known as space is getting bigger. Feel free to look that up on your own time and fact check that shit, I, you know. But I mean, I tend to take my pop's word on that sort of thing. Because he's very interested in it. Kind of like, if I told you what's what in Souls, and you were new to it, don't you think that you would, uh, trust what I was telling you? Like that. Oh, no you don't. Fuck. Oh, yes you do. Give me your knife! Give. Give knife. Must bleed many boss. Not throwing knives when you get trash. Nope. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can kill now the noob slayer. I do have a good shield, which is the main thing you need. I do have poise, which is the second thing you need. Let's see if I can uh, take him out and how long it'll take. How many pokes of this here rapier? I wonder if I can equip my... No, I can't. No, that's too much weight, probably. I'm like right on the verge, right on the edge. Whoop! 
Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yep, yep. Just don't want him to fucking leap at me. Oh, you dog bird. Woo! That was close. Alright, now it's easy mode. Yeah, and I can block the big attack too. A lot of other, you know, if you're using a small shield or don't have enough endurance or something, it just busts you wide open. That is an efficient little weapon. Kindly rapier. So all you need is a good shield and a bit of poise for the dog birds. Block, 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 block. There we go. It's a bit risky to roll his wide sweeps because they have such a huge arcing hitbox you could still get hit if you try to roll through. Ooh, that was close block. Another close block. Oh, he actually dodged me. What are you doing? You, you got a spam jump attack on me now? Damn it. Triple attack, didn't see that coming. Alright. Finito. Is there anything I want from the depths? Uh, no. I need to... Yeah, that can wait until, like, Lord Vessel. I don't really need that. So the first rapier I should make is chaos. So we're gonna go fire on it next. I just need uh, to kill the spider first because if I go against her with a fire rapier, it's, it's gonna do like no damage. But fighting Quelag with a plus five rapier, that's gonna be I mean look how long it took to kill that um Capra Demon. It's gonna be even longer. What if I have a better alternative? She bleeds either. Jeez, and the, the rapier is such a narrow attack. It's just gonna take a while, I think, to kill her. But I have Dragon Crest, so it'd be easy to block. Yeah, I might take a try or two. It'll just be annoying. Hmm. But I don't want to go to the swamp yet because. I almost forgot. Do I want to summon Solaire? No. no, I don't need him. I don't need you, Solaire. You're not cool anymore. I think I could take on Gargoyles right now. That'd be a little hard. Once two of them show up. Oh, I want to use my bandit knife on the gargoyles. That's right. What are you going to drink? You going to drink Estes? Yep. Not today. 
I need more shards. Uh, I could buy them. By the time we code gargoyles, I'll have 20k again, so no big deal. I will kill the balder knife now that I think about it. Try and save myself a buck. Killing him with rapier might be unpleasant. The range isn't that good. For sure. No backstab for you, pal. No Estus for you, pal. Wow, they have like no poise at all. Hmm. I'm so sure that Balder armor gives more poise than that. So they must have a custom value. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shard. Whoa. Right on. I'm ready to kill some gargoyles. Let's see if I can actually equip this and still roll. Oop. Ooh, what do you know? I'm surprised. Cool. Let me see how much I like fighting with this. Let's check damage. 122. Wait, what? No, no, no. That's, uh... 94. Okay. Probably gonna want this to take out the hollows, though. Oh no, that's not one shot. R2 gets him, that's good. It's got a little more reach on it too, because it takes a step forward. Nice. Might be using that R2 more often. Been a while since I used this weapon. I've always found the range to be, yeah, definitely shorter than it looks. It's annoying. I tried using this thing in Souls 3 and it just let me down. But I do have memories of using it to good effect in Souls 1 and 2, especially. In 2, it's an absolute beast. Because the counter damage is so high and you can just, you know, stack it up with Leo Ring and whatnot. Get knocked off the roof here if you're not careful. 
Are you kidding me? Get out of the corner. Yeah! There's some bleed. Are you kidding me? Oh, I would have been surprised if that hit. Okay, I don't think I can reliably use bleed anymore because of the range. I gotta get too close to him. That's cool, I have my shield up. hit These weapons certainly underperform without decks to back it up. But hopefully that changes once I get the elemental on them. I mean, it should work in theory. Oh dear, this better not be a mistake. Cool guy. Don't need any of that right now. Thou oh, art welcome. What a nice man. Now, Crest of Artorias, Forest, followed by Swamp. Moving along. Progress. Boing. Ugh, I just thought about how I have to kill all those force people with a fucking rapier plus five. Barf! Oh well, I asked for this. It'll be fine. The build will eventually mature. Yeah. The Crust of Artorius. Nice try. I think that's how Common almost got whacked earlier by that guy. Probably jumped right on him. Ooh, good damage against plant people at least. That was nice. 
It also takes very little endurance, so... All around, solid weapon choice. But attacking low is also usually a problem. Not dire. No, no grapple. No thank you. Ow, wow, how did you hit me? Give me that. Ooh, yum. That's some good moss right there. Quality moss. Hopefully I will not have to kindle this up. I don't want to have to do that. Not yet. Here we go! Where are you, Mr. Knight? There you are. Gonna have to backstab the shit out of this guy. One, five, six. Let's see what kind of damage we get on a bandito knife. Oh, I couldn't see it. Oh, it's more like the uh, rapier, okay. <gasps> Not good. Oh, crap. I'm dead. God damn it. Fuck you, sorcerer guy. You weren't supposed to aggro. Uh, and he kicked me. Kick him while they're down. Hey, yo. Luckily, I was already dead, so I didn't actually lose anything. Come on, Mr. Knight. We're gonna fight more this way so your friend doesn't aggro. Because that was unpleasant. Oof. That was a bit risky. Heh! Bye bye. Now instead of wasting Estus, since that guy doesn't respawn, let's get a freebie. And on to the next. Usually I skip the sorcerer, because you can kind of skirt around his aggro. If you're careful. And you know me. Careful's my middle name. So fighting by the edge is good because there's a potential that you can like, you know, backstab them off of it. Yeah, let's give them a little boot. There you go. That felt good. Nice and efficient. Come on. You're next. Bye bye. Now for the thief. Bandit against bandit. I better use a rapier on him. Need to get that reach. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> Ooh! Thank you. Slipped off the end there myself, though. Scary. Come on, Mr. Knight. Jeez, oh, really? It's not like I'm in stealth mode here. That's a good spot. Nice try. 
Just set me up for more and more, pal. Wow, he's determined to keep doing that. Oh my god, I must be setting the AI to do that when I give him a little nick. Oh, no, he didn't do it that time. Backstab and bleed at the same time. Okay, this is going to be tough. Ferris as quick as I am. I wonder if I can get around back of her. Probably not. She's going to switch to her bow. Ooh, she hits hard too. But no poise on her. Come on, what are you doing? Come on, Grill. Yeah, back up. Off the cliff. Yep, yep. Classic. So, um... Bit of an odd choice, but Ferris is actually my Dark Souls waifu. Everybody has one, right? Most people would probably say Priscilla. She's alright, but I don't know. Something about... Something about that archer lady and her cute hat and her little her little uh dress like leather armor you know like hey look at uh oh I didn't pick up the leather armor anyway it kind of looks like a like, cute, cute little mini dress type thing I like that quite a lot so she's my waifu of choice Okay, it's getting a bit thick. I am having second thoughts. Let's have a drink, grab the armor, and run like hell. Ow! Oh, mama! Please don't murk me, you guys. I thought we were having fun. Oh, shit, they hit hard. Holy crap. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Whoop! Okay, we don't want to aggro the sorcerer. Oh my freaking god. I wonder how far they'll follow me. Because they really want to, now that I've cleared it, talk to Alvina. Just get the fucking stone armor and get out of here. Hopefully they don't follow me all the way to the tower. Dang, this build is weak right now. I'm concerned. Doesn't look like they're following. Last time I did a rapier build, it was um, a 16 intelligence mage, 40 decks, in uh, Anna Orlando for co-op, level 60. She was a lot of fun. So hopefully this will be as good. If not better. I'm hoping it'll be better. Because um, it's got way more vitality and endurance, and it's 10 levels lower. So that makes it more competitive. Hockey, I have many soul now. Um, what do I want to level up? Let's consult the build. Vitality and Endurance is probably a good start. 
don't really need anything else other than attunement. And I don't have any spells worth casting right now, so... Hmm... I'd really like to wear some better armor. So maybe I should get this to where it needs to be before I do any vitality type stuff. 23. That should do it. Okay. 23. Always have, like, tremendous buyer's remorse when I'm setting up a build. Like, oh, what if I make a mistake? Gotta triple check it. Okay, now maybe I can equip something decent. How about this? Are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Hmm, sorcerer hat? Really? <laughs> Oh, okay. Maybe, um, Balder armor? No, I didn't. Let's try the Balder. Nope. Still too heavy. God damn. Gotta be super lightweight. Let's try... I mean, those Havel Gauntlets are heavy. Oh my goodness. How do I not have enough endurance right now? Oh. Sure, that'll do. Whatever. Good damage. Maybe I'll pick up that second rapier early, after all, and make it lightning, or rather, hello, uh, get it up to plus ten, and then fight Quellag. That is just wasting time. We'll see how long it takes her to kill her with the plus five. And how hard it is to farm leeches with plus five as well. I need supplies from you. Just remembered. Gonna need that. Get yourself, yeah, yeah, yeah. Worry about yourself, old man. We all know this guy's incredibly healthy. He makes it through three Souls games. Or, well, he's in two of them, but that means he survived the second game to get the third game. What a trooper. Wow, this dress really makes her look fat. The thickest of bottoms. Goddamn right she does.
this will, okay, so the swamp is also where I'm gonna farm up green titanite so I can make it a fire rapier. So that when I'm done with the swamp, I'll have fire rapier to head into uh, Sen's fortress and Anor Londo beyond. Shit, if I wanted to, I could probably chaos it, but I have to run across the lava. That never ends well. A bit early to be doing that. Don't got enough uh, vitality. Or defense. Maybe flash sweat would be enough. With the fire stone plate ring. Actually, that, that kind of sounds doable. Hmm. Because if I kill Ceaseless Discharge, and I grab the thing, and I can get Red Titanite, but I can't get a slab. But I can get Red Titanite. All before the Lord Vessel. But then it's going to be a pain in the ass to move around. Uh, I'll just use plus 10 Fire Rapier to kill Orin and Smoke. Shouldn't be that hard. Then after that, I can work my way towards Chaos. I'm gonna need lightning at that point too, actually, because then I'll be ready for Demon Ruins. Hmm. Jeez, what a pain in the ass. It's like so much farming I gotta do. Oh well. Maybe later on, when Common's around, I can get some of the Titanite back off of him. Save myself the trouble. That sounds like a good idea. Meantime, progress. Oh my goodness, such piddly damage. That's gonna take a long time to kill that Spider Queen. Oh yeah. Killing these with the rapiers. Usually kind of a forget about it. Ooh, I actually pulled it off though. Oh wow, it takes a long time to kill one of those. Be gone. Oh god. I don't need poison and toxic. They do stack, folks. Just watch out for that. Oh, jeez, wish I had known I could just one shot him with this. Isn't that easy? Drink. You there. Eat shit. What? How did he how did he not get hit? <gasps> what is even going on right now? Oh my god. What a bunch of BS. Wow. Neat. Cool game. Drink something here. Now I'm gonna have to drop on this guy's fucking head without breaking my legs. Oh god. Without attracting doggos. Oh shit! Must cure, must cure, must cure, must cure, 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 cure. Good game. That was exciting. <laughs> See, that's why I didn't want to bring the fire right here. Everything here is just like straight up immune. How about I just grab this and fuck off? How's that work for you? How's that work for you? Nope. Oh god. Oh, risky, risky, risky business. Oh my. So many dog. 
Hopefully I can get out of here without getting mauled at the ladder. Ooh, that was close. Nice. <laughs> Low level adventures. Goddamn. See, I love doing the challenging shit. Doing stuff lower level than you should be doing it. It's fun. I wonder if I can bleed these. Wait, wait, what the fuck's my dagger? Oh yeah, that's right. Good, still fast rolling. Nice, I can bleed them. I was unsure. I feel like... Nah, it's the same bleed percentage across the board. They just don't have a lot of health. It takes 30% of their health off. Which is only a third, so... I just feel like I had an easier time fighting the Barbarians with a uh, unupgraded Morningstar. But that's probably just because the base damage is higher. Sound like what? Oh. Yeah, I know, right? It's because I, I have a, like, a someone that I'm talking to in my head, like, okay. like I'm imagining them, you know? So it just feels natural. Do you have anything I want? No. Be gone. And it's knife. It's pretty knite. Verse. Oh, I maybe shouldn't have done this yet. Because I gotta farm first before I kill the spider. And now I'm risking that humanity. Damn. Oh well. Hopefully it'll work out. Jeez, even without bleed, this weapon is superior. Are we doing this or not? I know you have like no bleed resist because you don't have armor on. Huh. Guess the game gave her bleed resist. Neat. Nope. There it goes. Good night. You were Mrs. Thick Bottom's top competition. So we are here to farm slugs. Slugs drop large titanite shard and also green titanite shard. Both of them in good amounts too. So, ooh nice! This will be easier than I thought. One running attack gets them down. They probably have about 150 HP. A duplicate of my armor, just what I needed. Wow! These skeeters are out in force. If only I could light one of those citronella candles. Uh oh. Yeah, see, the rapier tends to aim higher than other weapons, so if it's low to the ground, you might not hit it. 
problem. No, no drops yet? Give me some stuff, come on. Come on, meow. Yeah, there we go, C5 shards. I think it takes 11 green to get to plus 5. But only, uh, should be 9 large titanite. What if I can, uh, no, it takes three shots if I one hand it. Oh, I missed. Okay, I think we will be taking a break here, as uh, this farm is going to take some time and be very dull. And at the moment, my mind is a bit tired, too tired to think of a good conversation. And so I wish you well in your soul ventures and other interactions. Try not to go hollow. Until next time.